This is Hannibal from the Hannibal TV dot com and this week on the great north wrestling podcast we have a special guest via skype he's former wcw head of uh, japanese talent japanese talent liaison he's also uh, was a manager kickboxing champion and he just came from starcast mr sunny ono how are you man it's so nice to have you hannibal well it's nice to see you yeah, I'm looking right outside when we practice outside where I had to kind of get you ready for your kickboxing stuff. You know what I mean? Well, you actually did give me some good tips, and I was successful in that fight. I'm actually uh, 3-0 and now, but I'm going to fight again, but I'm going to have a pro wrestling match first. But maybe before my next fight, I'll come and see you again. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, you let me know. If, you know, we're not that far apart. I might come up and, you know... Be, be a corner person, one of the corner person. If, if I think you hurt, I might jump in and have to hit somebody with a chair. Oh, okay, this is a real kickboxing fight. I guess we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen some of your kicks on Nitro, and some of those spinning hook kicks are pretty impressive. I don't know if I'll ever pull those off in a fight. Well, yeah, it's not that bad, though. I mean, you can actually you can set somebody up because, you know, you don't, that low, low leg kick, spin kick, yeah, you, 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 it works. I'm telling you. Because, you know, when they don't like, when, they, when, when those, this hand start dropping a little bit, you know what I mean? Because they don't want to get hit or they start reaching for that or picking the leg up. You can set that hook kick up pretty good. Well, that's one of the reasons I'm going to go to you. But right now, one of the reasons I'm talking to you is you have uh, tryouts coming up for Japan, Kaz Hayashi's uh, league, Wrestle One. You want to tell us all about the, these big tryouts all over the U.S.? Yeah, so... Last year, um, uh, we had uh, uh, a sponsored a, uh, a thing called Chosen One. We want, cause, you know, like like as you understand, a lot of professional wrestling talent talent wants to go to Japan and experience, or at least have a do a tour over there, so they have that feather on their resume, you know, feather on their cap with the resume. But nobody knows how to get there. You know, unless unless you have a personal, um, um, you know, relationship with one of the the wrestlers or with the office over there, and that, you know, nobody knows how to get there. Um, or you're paying uh, your own ticket, which a lot of them do now. I think. I know, which is ridiculous, actually. But and and I mean, if you're gonna go there for work for them, you know what I mean. Now, um, but here's here's the, and and I hear a lot of that. So I was talking to Kaz Hash a couple years ago. He says, listen, we have ESD, one of the best dojo in, in uh, Shinjuku, in Tokyo. And uh, one of the things that happened was I said, well, let's let's see, um, let's promote your dojo, which is a Wrestle One dojo, which is also in the same complex where the K1 is. You know, that's why you and I need to go over there together and, and do some interviews. You know, uh, 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 Wrestle One is chairman is Greg Muda. And uh, they're in the same building as K1 office. So they, they have rings there, various rings. They train there. They have a weight center. They have a dormitory where people stay and, you know, actually experience the Japanese dojo experience. I mean, they eat, sleep, and train there, right? So I get a lot of that. So what we did last year was, was, was uh, uh, we, we chose a guy from... Uh, um, uh, Rex Andrew from uh, um, Booker T's Reality of Wrestling School. And we sent him over there to Japan to, to, to experience the dojo experience. And we, we said, hey, if you're good enough and they find you to be at the right attitude, they might put you on one of their shows. And he got to be on the, you know, he got to be in, he actually got to perform at Clock and Hall, which is every independent wrestler's dream, you know, to, to work in Clock and right next to the Tokyo Dome. And he got to do that. And he was there for like almost three weeks. And uh, he blogged, um, you can watch it free on a Fight TV. He blogged his experience. So we wanted to do it again this year, but instead of sending one guy, we wanted to send multiple guys. So uh, we made arrangements. Um, so, uh, uh, actually we're going to have a, uh, a, a tryout in New York at uh, House of Glory on the 7th of June. We'll start there. 
And then we're going to Atlanta on the 9th of June at the 1-4 Wrestling Factory where, where the uh, Mike is the uh, one of the uh, 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 agent for a new company called AEW, you heard of. And so uh, we're doing a tryout there. And uh, we're also moving, going to Texas uh, and we're going to Kansas City and Oakland, uh, Hood Slam in Oakland. And then we're going, we're going to finish off on the 15th at Inoki Dojo in LA. So there's six locations that we're going to be having these tryouts. Now, during the tryout, what we're going to do is we're going to try to at least pick one from each dojo, but maybe two. You know, sometimes it's hard to choose, right? So we may pick two guys from each dojo, and we're actually going to give a, uh, uh, give a one-week training and room and board at the Russell One Dojo. They charge like 1500 bucks. But as a promotion, we're, we're uh, and, and uh, Fight TV is going to help me sponsor this thing. We're actually going to, uh, uh, you, you, you know, we're probably going to, once we gather all these guys, the chosen ones, we're probably going to go there together, probably in late August, maybe where the G1 tournament that New Japan has, maybe that's going on. So we're going to do maybe go there for 10 days. You know, it's, it'll be kind of like a little tour, but at the same time, they'll be training. And and uh, if they're lucky, they might be able to get on some couple shows. So that's the prize for the, uh, uh, and you can go on uh, 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 Russell One site so you you know maybe you can put that graphic up later on but yeah um, and or they can contact me if they need anything on fight uh, on a facebook i'm easy to find um there isn't so many selfie guys sunny on around so um, no and it's yeah. o-n-o-o for people that want to look them up uh i know a lot of people misspell your last name but oh, we'll put your facebook in the description of this video as well as the uh, the link that I'm sure you can send me after. That way, people seeing this, if they want to be a part of any of those great tryout opportunities, they could just go in the description and find those links. Right. And, you know, what it is is that, listen, if, if, if you're passionate, like, you know, you, your independent wrestler wants to get there, you know, and if you're going to take a vacation to Japan, hotel room alone is going to kill you. So this way, your room and board is going to be taken care of and you get to kind of live your dream. So it's going to be a great experience. And also, Kaz Hayashi told me that anybody who participates, we're going to give away some gift, you know, uh, like a discount certificate to the dojo as well, even if you're not the chosen one. So, you know, it's, it's uh, and it's going to be like, it's not going to be, let me see what you got. You know, we're going to do a bunch of squats and it's not going to be like that. We're going to talk about the difference of how Japanese wrestle you know, Japanese style wrestling versus American wrestling styles. And, you know, of course, you know, the difference between that and Lucha style. And also, you need to learn here in the United States, especially if you get to the level, if you get on the television, like, you know, TNA or, or, or AEW or certainly WWE, you know, it's a television formatted wrestling. Japan. If they do a wrestling event and TV company comes in filming, there's some matches that are 30 minutes, you know, I mean, they go, you know, um, and so uh, it's a little bit different. You need to be aware of what, you know, the style, not only the styles about, you know, you know you're not going to have a referee coming up to you in your ear saying, hey, it's time to go home. No, you know, that's not happening. Um, so, you know, you got to be able to think on your feet. And and stuff like that we'll be talking about. So you'll be educational as well as a trial, you know. Um, and we're gonna critique on your, you know, uh, on your gimmick as well. You know what I mean? And so, you know, when I say critique, it's a suggestion. You know, um, if you're gonna go to Japan, you might not want to be, you know, necessarily dressed in stars and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it worked for Don Fry, who I just interviewed. It worked pretty yeah. well for Don Fry. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, you, you better be able to back it up. Don Fry can. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was there for a long time. I still remember him. So. Uh, and were you at the AEW show uh, when you were in Vegas last week? Yeah, I was briefly. And I got to talk. I had a meeting with Cody. Um, you know, got to talk to, uh, uh, you know, Kenny Omega. Um, 
I got to take care, you know, they asked me to take care of some of the Japanese talent that was there, certainly the lady, you know, they tore down the house. Um, um, they got a heck of a review. Um, you know, it's got legs. I mean, it's got, they got people, one, they got money, and they got amazing, passionate, talent, talented people out there trying to put something together. So I, I think they'll do really well. When do you think they're going to start doing regular shows in the fall, like weekly shows? What I understand now, I, obviously, I don't, you know, disclaimer is that I don't work for AEW. I don't, you know, work for any of those people. But what I understand is that uh, they're going to be on uh, a Turner Network Television. And, and uh, I understand they're going to start taping weekly television series, like in, it's, it'll start in September. You know, I okay. don't know if it's going to be live or likely it's going to be taped show, I'm guessing. And of course, in September, they have another, their next big event. Um, it, it'll be another star cast in, in AEW pay-per-view out of Chicago. And I think there's an event, um, uh, gaming show event on June 29th that likely I'll be there. I've been asked to come there. And, and uh, 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 there's another one in Jacksonville in July, I believe. So wow. they're doing, monthly they're doing some big shows with, you know, top, top talent. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know how many of those... Are, it's pay-per-view or you know it, it's going to be on uh i know fight tv this time around uh did uh, only the international broadcast but talking to uh people at the fight they told me their buy rate for international was bigger than one they did in chicago for domestic and international wow yeah and they have a, a, a tremendous buy rate from japan so you know I think they're going to be using a lot more international talent as well as, so that's where they are, right? I mean, Kenny made his name, Cody made his name, Jericho certainly, you know, has a great relationship with New Japan. So those guys all worked in Japan, so they got an amazing amount of fan base in Japan. Right. So why not capitalize on that, you know? Now, for Wrestle 1, where is that in the hierarchy of Japanese wrestling leagues? We know... New Japan is at the top right now. Uh, I I don't know where Noah and All Japan are these days, but I hear that they're both not as big as they used to be. Right. Well, here here's basically a little bit of history. So, um, um, you know, there was there was the uh, um, Baba and Inoki, and uh, uh, when Ricky Dozon passed away, which was kind of like a godfather of wrestling in Japan, um, they basically split baba state you know baba ran the all japan pro wrestling Inoki had new japan pro wrestling um so they were they were the two rival companies for many years and then and and Inoki went into politics mr baba got ill passed away um uh obviously new japan got sold to uh yuki the gaming company now it's another gaming company, Bushy Road owns it. Um, it's been a lot of changes, but you know they're they're the the top of the, the wrestling uh, company as it goes in J- in Japan, as well as because they're trying obviously they're trying to come to you know uh, United States, you know, and so you can arguably say I believe that I, I I'm not misleading anybody when I say. New Japan's in second. New Japan is probably a currently number two company in the world. They're way distant uh, in revenue and otherwise from WWE, of course. But um, or Japan goes, New Japan is the top of the heap. Then you had all Japan. Well, after Baba passed away, you know there was there was breakup because the uh, head of the company was now Mrs. Baba. And so there was a breakup of the, uh, I won't go into a lot of details, but uh, um, all, all Japan had, you know, uh, Kenta Kobashi, who was just at the Starcast, as Misawa, which is a legendary wrestler um, uh, of all Japan. And they, he broke up. For whatever reason, you know, a lot of those people broke away. And that there was uh, pro wrestler Noah, um, who just has a new boss now, has been been sold to another company. So that, but that's viable. So uh, uh, 
a pretty strong company. You know, they, they do tours. And then you got Russell One, who is head by um, uh, Greg Muda. You know, he's the chairman. Kaz Hayashi, who been with All Japan, and um, now he's the president of uh, uh, Russell One. Then you got company like uh, uh, still All Japan, um, who's uh, um, trying to think of the guy's name, but he was just here. Um, but you know, All Japan is where uh, Ultimate Dragon do tour with them when he, while he's in Japan, so he's with them. Right. Then you have you know smaller company like Zero One, who was, but those those all those companies are like Zero One. Uh, Russell One, uh, Pro Wrestling Noah is kind of broken away version of. They were all used to be part of All Japan. Okay, okay. so Russell One's a great place to get your foot in the door for Japan, okay. make a name yeah. for yourself, and see where it goes from there. Yeah, you know, it's it's just it, yeah. I mean, look, once you go over there and they like you, and you know, and and it's it's a way for you to be seen because you're going to be seen by some of those. You know, executive and, and bookers from uh, you know those other companies because they're all friendly. They all work together, so uh, I think it's a great opportunity for you. And if you're, you know, if you're somewhat seasoned and you want to take a shot at you know, and being able to find your way to Japan and do some touring over there, you know, it's, it, it, this is a great opportunity. Better opportunity than a new Japan camp where they don't actually take anybody or or do anything with them. Yeah. So. Yeah, old Japan had a, a, a tryout about a month and a half ago, and I, I believe it was either in San Francisco or San Jose. And, you know, look, I want to make sure that you feel like you're getting a fair shot, number one. And number two, like I said, it's not just going to be a tryout. It's, we're going to be, you know, we're going to, it's going to be somewhat of a seminar of, of uh, you know, what to expect over there, you know, the difference between how we wrestle here and there. I mean, you're going to learn some stuff. So it's not going to be, you know, bam, thanks for your money. And yeah, you're not, you don't, you don't have to look, you know, it's not going to be that kind of thing. So we want to, we want, personally, I want to make sure that every guy who comes in front of me gets evaluation, gets something out of it, whatever it's worth, and, and uh, get a clear shot, at least try. And it, and, you know, if you really want to go, you know, we're going to try to give you some gift certificates so you can you can actually get a discount to the dojo. So, you know, we want to make sure that when you do the tryout, you know, and pay your fees, feel like you've you got your money's worth, you know? Yeah, and you mentioned the Ultimo Dragon. He's getting an award this year in Iowa at the uh, George Tragos Luthes Hall of Fame. Are you going to be there for uh, yeah. his award? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. be there. And we also, after that, we're actually booked in... Uh, 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 up in Canada, or close to Canada, northern Minnesota, we're doing another show on July 28th in one of the casino up there, and uh, it happened to be my birthday, so uh, Sting's gonna be there, so you know, so I'm telling my grandson that Sting's coming to my birthday party, you know, made it sound pretty good. I mean, it's true, but he's not, he's not really coming to my, he's gonna be at my birthday party, but we're gonna have a big cake on the thing, but you know, made it sound good though. Sting's coming to my birthday party, that's how good I am. <laughs> well, you definitely deserve part of that award for all your help helping uh, Ultimo Dragon win over the years in WCW with some of those underhanded tactics, which I guess if the referee doesn't see them, they're not underhanded. But uh, where can people follow you? You mentioned Facebook. Is there a Twitter? or? Yeah, I, I'm on Twitter, as, uh, you know, at Sonny Ono. Uh, that's S-O-N-N-Y-O-N-O-O. -O -O. So, you know, but, uh, and then, you know, you know how it is. If you're on a Facebook, you Trying to catch up to everybody, every all the Twitters and those Instagram and all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm an old guy, so I'm not that great on you know a lot of these technologies. Like you and I had a problem yesterday, but we got it working. Yeah, and, and I'm not the greatest either. I'm just blessed that uh, I've somehow got all these internet fans, and I've made it despite my limited technical abilities. But any final message to say to the fans? Uh, watching this about the tryouts. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to run into you myself sooner or later yeah. this year. Yeah, you know, I, I think, I mean, when we announced that we were doing the six events throughout the country, the day after or, and, and, and days following, I had three people, three school from Canada contacted me 
one from Seattle, one from Australia, three from England, one from uh, Spain, and one from France. So uh, the international tryout is probably coming down the line. So, you know. But I well, if you had told me earlier, I could have had a great North Wrestling event around this time, and you could have there done. There you go. With... Well, let's do it next year for yeah. sure. Yeah, we need we need more Canadian and professional wrestling in Japan. Definitely, you guys have a long history of Canadians, so we'll see how it goes. But I wish you well on all those uh, tryouts you're doing. And fans, take this opportunity. If you're a wrestler, it's a great opportunity. And you get to meet Mr. Sonny Ono in person. He might show you some kicks at the tryout, too. You recently did Eric Bischoff's podcast. What's the name of that podcast if people want to look that up? Well, the Eric's 83 Weeks? Yeah, but what was the episode? It was all about the Korea. You also did one on the Hannibal TV. People can look it up. Sonny Ono, full shoot interview. It's free out there. But I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to... Uh, you talked in detail about the Korea thing on... Uh, yeah, the North Korea thing is really bizarre anyway, and Eric talked about it, and Eric talked about one of the things that, that, that the people don't then realize is that, you know, it, it's it's really propaganda. You know, there, it's, there, there's only one way that the citizens are taught to think, and that's it. You know, uh, Kim, Kim Jong-il is a god, and, you know, he defeated... You know, he, he, he defeated the, the Axis power by himself. You know, he defeated the Japanese and he also defeated the Americans. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. You know, when you, you know, you, when you're there, you're not going to argue with them. You know? I mean, that's their history. And one of the things, one of the first day we're there, and uh, Eric explained this on uh, a North Korea uh, a podcast on 83 Weeks, that, that our... Uh, Secret Service lady that was our handler uh, turns turns and looks at us. From, she was sitting in the front seat and looks at Eric and I. And goes, okay, you guys cannot look at our women, and you can't rape our women or eat our children. <laughs> <laughs> they must have heard about your kickboxing days back when you guys were doing the tournaments. I guess I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. So he was, you know, but it's kind of surreal. I'm glad I did it. I was told not to go. My my government told me that, the, you know, they cannot, you know, volunteer my safety. But at the same time, you know, back in like in '86, I went to South Africa where there was apartheid going on. I, I actually I actually competed in Sun City. So you know, um, and, and and train with people in in uh, Shanty Town and uh, Oswego. So look, you know. You only live once, you know, and yeah. and uh, I got because of my martial arts and because of my pro wrestling, I got to experience some of the stuff that you know normal human beings don't get to. So I'm I'm very grateful and generous, uh, you know, happy about the stuff that happened with the opportunity I had. And it doesn't look like it's over for you. You're still going strong. So <laughs> I wish you the best of luck with everything, and I'll catch you down the road. I'm sure. Well, Hannibal, I'm 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 so glad. I just heard that you you podcast or uh, 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 your YouTube viewership is I don't know a few millions. I don't know what's going on. But... Uh over seventy million views, over a hundred thousand subscribers. So it's climbing and climbing. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So that's why I'm on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.